Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Carrie Barnes from the Hat Creek Candle Company. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how we develop a new fragrance and specifically how we develop a new cookie melt. And uh, fairly often we'll get suggestions from our fans for new fragrances and new products. And we really appreciate uh, that you take the time and uh, care enough to submit those ideas to us. Um, unfortunately, we can't act on them all, but we do take each and every one into consideration. And um, recently, we received an idea from one of our fans in Minnesota, Valerie Tucker, and her idea was to do a red velvet cookie melt. And it just so happens that we are um, not, have not finalized the selections that we're going to have for our holiday cookie melt package. And we thought that possibly a red velvet cookie melt could be a great addition. So we're going to take you step by step um, as we develop the red velvet cookie melt um, from beginning to end and let you see a little bit of how what what goes into creating a new cookie. So let's get started. But there's two pounds of melted wax for our test batch and we're going to add um, our fragrance. Our fragrance is the first thing that comes to people's mind when thinking of cookie melts. That's why they buy them and red velvet is obviously it should be a dark chocolatey cocoa um, fragrance so we checked uh, first of all we check in our fragrance library to see if there's anything that we could use or mix together to make an, a new combination and we had a couple to choose from and we chose a really nice cocoa fragrance and then also we're going to mix with that a secret ingredient that we think um, will make it really special. So let's pour the fragrance in right now. I'm sorry if it's wiggling a little, but I'm holding the camera in one hand and pouring in the other. All right. There's the first one. If we didn't have the fragrance or something close in our library already, what we would do is pull the fragrance companies that we work with, we work with several around the country, and let them know what we're looking for. And then they send us some samples, and then we have uh, a lot of testing to do to see the fragrance throw and burning and things like that. Our secret ingredient. Okay. You notice it looks kind of cloudy in there. That's just because our wax has already started to cool. So when I'm done mixing this up, we'll put it on the burner for a little bit and get that all incorporated really nicely. Okay, so the next consideration when creating a new product would, that we think about would be what color is it going to be and obviously a red velvet cake brings to mind a very specific to me anyway the very specific kind of muddy chocolatey red color and I don't know if you saw our post from a couple weeks ago I guess it was uh, we came up with this new brick red color for our new holiday cottage candle and I think, I know when we whip the wax for the cookies, uh, it lightens it up a smidge. So I think that we're going to try this color formula on our red velvet cake. We'll see what happens. So now we're ready to mix in the color. We're going to try for that nice brick red color that we just showed you. And so that's actually a combination of two colors. And if you've seen any of our other videos, you'll know that we like to use the liquid dyes because they disperse really nicely in the wax. There you go. And we'll give this a stir. 
We're over at the burner now, and we just put this on some really low heat. You can see it's a really red color now. But we want to bring it up to temperature. So now we're going to let this cool for at least 40 minutes, and we'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, here we are after about 40 minutes of cooling, and you can see the edges have gotten real dark. And what I'm going to do is just punch this down, and there's wax underneath that is still jelly. So we're going to incorporate all this together. This is the first mix. Oh, does that look good? <laughs> That's my assistant, <laughs> Dan, <laughs> holding the camera for me, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, I think this color might be just right. It smells good, too. Making me hungry. Okay, this is just about the right consistency um, for beading. But we're going to let it rest and let those hardened parts soften just a little bit more. And then we'll come back and show you how we throw them. Very cool. Are we on? Oh, we're definitely on. Honey. All right. So we're back with uh, our red velvet cake batter and uh, cookie batter, rather. And it's looking really good. I think we're ready to whip. The color's looking really nice. So we're going to take our trusty one-armed beater <laughs> and whip it. So you can see that when we whip it, it gets a little bit lighter. The air in there and gets lighter. And then when it cools, it cools, it will get darker again. So this is a little bit too hot yet. We're going to let it just keep folding those colder parts in until it kind of holds it, its shape. And then it's ready to throw. And with the red velvet cookies, we're planning on giving them a little buttercream frosting. So what we do, after they cool for just a minute, just take our finger. make a well for the frosting. So here we are, our cookies are set up and we're going to, I've mixed up a small batch of our cream cheese frosting and I'm just going to fill, carefully fill the little holes So here's our first completed tray of red velvet cookie melts. And they're still cooling a little bit, the cream cheese frosting. And you'll notice on a couple of these up here, I added some little red and white and pink nonpareils. See, you guys tell me what you think. Do you like them with the candies or plain? There you go. So thank you, Valerie Tucker, for your suggestion. We'll be sending you a bag of these new red velvet cookie melts for you to try in your own home. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.